Hi, I'm Kathy Brown from runningnotes.net. Today I'm going to demonstrate the application layout control from the XPages extension library. First, you might be wondering what is the application layout control from the XPages extension library? Well, it's what provides a lot of what you see here on the page. It's a control that we can use as a framework within XPages to quickly add elements to our page. For example, up here we have the top black bar with a login. We have another bar here with the title of the application and two tabs. And another bar here with a button or other actions. We have a left hand pane over here to which we've added a navigation. And we have a center panel here which as you can see changes depending on where we are, depending on which page we're on. And then finally we have down here um, another a, a legal footer area. And all of that is provided by the application layout control. So let's take a look. How do we create one? Well, quite easily, we'll create a new custom control We won't spell layout wrong. We'll spell that correctly. Application layout control. And then from the extension library, we will drag on the application layout. We'll get this wizard, which we can choose to configure some item, but we're going to leave all the defaults because we want to explore everything that's there. And we want to use the One UI um, version 2.1 because that's what's familiar to us and that's what's available for our um, version of designer. So we accept all the defaults and there you go. Now we've got an application layout control. I'm actually going to jump over here to this layout main because I've got some things configured here for us to look at. As we come in here, we can see several tabs. The first tab being the application layout tab. Of course, we can change the name of the ID of our application layout control. Again, we can change some of the items that were on the wizard that popped up. The most important bit here that I want to talk about is the content area. You can see we can check off left column, middle column, and right column. What that means is every place that we use the layout control, for example, we'll use it on each of our pages. You can see on our home page, we've got the layout control there and some content in the middle. On our ticket, page. Again, we've got the application layout control, but now we've got different content in the center. All of that is utilizing this enable drop target. We've unchecked the left column and that's because we want to add our content here in our layout control so that it's always available to us no matter where this control is used. Then we want to enable the middle pane as a drop target. And that's where when we use this control in different places, we can drop different content into the middle. Now we aren't using the right column at all, so we've unchecked that so that way we can't accidentally add content to it. Next up we have the banner where I could have added an icon or an image, and that would appear on the top part of our application. We've also got a bar for application links. More often than not, I tend to use the utility links. This was the black bar on our page due to the theme that we're using, which has the login and the anonymous. And you can see here, utility links. We've got a login and logout node and a user node. We've also got a log out node because the login and log out has a problem with it and doesn't work exactly correctly, but that's okay. So um, here we've just added these items via login and log out node. Add that in. We can call it what we want, whatever. We can have it be rendered when we want or don't want, etc. And same thing with the user node. So you can see here, we can configure some of that. Again, I'm not going to deep dive too much into the application layout control, but basically show you what's here and what you can um, start to use. We also have the title bar. That's the blue bar here, which we can see our title of our application and the couple of tabs. 
So we look here, we see title bar tab. There's the title of our application and we've added a couple of tabs. We now we added two page link nodes. How we did that was add item page link node and it pops up over here. Now we can configure it. What do we want to call this page and what page do we want it to go to when it's clicked? We can of course choose to whether or not this tab should be rendered and we can calculate it much like we can a lot of um, items inside of X pages. But quickly, if we save this and look over here and refresh the page, we now see another tab called main. Next, we have a search bar. If we check this box and select a page name, and then again save it. We can see here on our home tab we now have a search bar so we could search through tickets or whatever else is in our application. Here we have the place bar and as you can see we've got create a new ticket so that corresponds to this area here. Now we've chosen to add another page link node but again, you can add all sorts of items. One item that you can add is a container node and then put page link nodes or other items within that and that will create a drop-down type of button. Then of course we have the footer and the legal in which we can put down different links, text, etc. And again, all computed, much like we'd come to expect within um, XPages applications. And that's it. There's obviously a lot in there that you can dig into. That's the general gist of it. That's how you can get most of the components inside uh, your application and get started and get using them. Again, I'm Kathy Brown from runningnotes.net and you can reach me at runningkathy on Twitter. Thanks for watching.